we have a voltage source here, AC source, 100 angle zero. It's going through an inductor here, J2.5. It's going through a resistor here, the value of 2. And it's going through a capacitor right there of negative 1J. And the question is find I sub C, I sub R, and I sub L. And graph them. They want us to graph them too. You can use any method you want to, to solve it. The easiest one probably KCL. If I call this voltage VR, VR, not V3, boy. I'm saying things and writing different things today. I woke up with worse headache. I'm not sure why. I think my blood is too thin. If this is VR, I can do KCL of that node. This node, I know the voltage to it, so that's the only node. So the node on the top here, it's really VR. So if I do KCL at that node, the current in, which is I sub L, equals the current leaving, I sub R plus I sub C. And what is I sub L? It's this voltage, 100 minus 100 angle zero. I can say just 100 if I want to minus the voltage here, which is VR, over J2.5 equals VR minus nothing over 2 plus VR minus nothing over negative 1J. Now quickly here, the J's in the bottom, just bother me a little bit. That J in the bottom will make it negative J on the top. So negative J times 100 minus VR. Notice I dropped the zero. 100 angle zero is nothing more than 100. That's on the imaginary, on the real number I mean, not the imaginary. Over the 2.5, VR over two, the negative J in the bottom, bring it to the top, becomes plus J. So I can multiply the whole thing by 5. That'll be negative 2J times 100 minus VR equals 2.5 VR plus 5J VR. Negative 2J times 100 is negative 200J plus negative times a negative, that's positive, 2J VR equals 2.5 VR plus 5J VR. If you move this one to that side, we have negative 200J equals 2.5 plus 3J VR.
Can we solve for VR? Let's see what that value is. Zero comma, negative 200, divided by 2.5 comma 3. 51.2, angle negative Now, can we find I sub L and I sub R and I sub C? Let me write VR here on the top so I don't have to keep flipping the page. 51.2 angle, negative 140.2. Let's look at that. What's I sub L? It's 100, angle 0, minus VR, which is 51.2, angle negative 140.2, divided by what? J2.5. Uh, 100, angle 0, minus... 51.2 angle negative 140.2 divided by 0 comma 2.5 and I came up with 57.3 angle negative 76.8 VR, I mean I sub R, not VR. We know what VR is. I sub R, VR, which is 51.2, angle negative 140.2, minus zero, this minus that, divided by two. When you divide by two, you just divide that number by two. So I don't need a calculator for that. Uh, 25.6 is it? Angle negative 140.2. I sub C. It's VR 51.2 negative 140.2 minus the zero divided by what? This is negative 1j or 1 angle negative 90. Again, I don't need a calculator for that. When you divide in polar, it's the magnitude over the magnitude, 51.2, and you subtract the angles. Negative 140 minus a minus 90, that's plus 90. That make it what? Negative 50.2, is it? And from KCL, all the current entering the node equals leaving. This current should equal the sum of these. So if I take this vector and this one, add them, and draw the parallelogram to get the equivalent, I bet, bet you that's going to be the answer. Let's see if that agrees with that. Because the current going in, I sub L should equal the sum of them. So let's graph that and see if that's actually agreeing with us. Okay, I know. Yep. I'm going to get some graph paper. 
I just don't want the machine, the computer to die. If I don't touch it every few minutes, mm -hmm. it goes to sleep, then I gotta restart the machine. Yep, there's a graph paper. Let's see. Let's grow. Oh. Ruler will be handy too. Here's my graph paper. Let's put the axes here. So let's find the first one. Let's graph, let's leave I sub L out. Let's graph I sub R and I sub C. I sub R, where is it? Where'd you go, I sub R? Oh, right here. I sub R, it's 25.6 angle, negative 140.2. Negative 140. One forty is right here. I can't tell you where the point two is, but right there. And twenty five point six. Let's use a scale of what's the scale? One for one. Oh, it's negative. I'm sorry. Yep. Good eyes. Negative one, uh, negative one forty. That's where the fifty, huh? It's right here. Slide it. Oh, it's not centered. Okay. Should go back to bed this morning. There we go. Is that centered now? Okay. Negative one forty. So in that direction. And let me use a scale of one, uh, maybe one to one, like five centimeters will be, I mean, one to five. I was thinking of inches, but that might be, I might get out of space here. So I'll use centimeters, so one to one. So, I mean, one to five, my scale. One centimeter equals five. So 25.6 is approximately what, how many? Five? 25.6, right? Yeah. So the point one is not going to make much. Every five oh. is one, oh, yeah. no, right? No. I don't have to be perfect here. Right there. Up to here. This is what? I sub R. Let me find I sub C. 51.2 angle negative 50. Let's find out where the negative 50 is. Let me line this one up. Is that good enough? Negative 50 in this direction. 51. So divided by five, that's about two, two centimeters. Ten point two. Oh, damn it. There we go. Stay there. A little bit went too far, just a hair too far. Here we go. You can't see the bottom of the bottom line. Ten point two. This is what? I sip C. 
Now, if I add them, we know I sub L equals I sub R plus I sub C. Well, let's find the equivalent of that. Well, to find the equivalent graphically, what do you do? You draw a line parallel to this, the same length. So it's five centimeters long, right? Approximately, here we go. Five centimeters. Right there. Does that parallel looks like it? And you draw this to that. And you make your parallelogram, right? So I sub L, math graphically, I'm a little bit off here. I can see the center is not lining up. So this is I sub L. The value of that, let's measure the length of it. The length, it's almost 11 here. See that? This 11. Yep. Just a hair over 11. I, I get 11 point maybe 2, 11.3, whatever, say 11.3. The scale is what? 5. So what am I getting? 56.5? Supposed to be what? 57.3. Not bad. Let's measure the angle and see if that angle close to negative 77 degrees. I'm getting 75, 76 degrees mm -hmm. negative, so I'm not that far. So this is I sub R, I sub C, and I sub L in phaser. A lot of times people look at them and say, wait a minute, how can 51.2 plus 25 equals 57? You're not adding just numbers. You're adding vectors. So it's a little bit different. Sometimes the result even smaller than both of these. Because if you have a vector, if you get a vector that's going this way, and one going that way, the result is this little tiny vector. Or if you get one going, again, this way, one going that way, and the result will be that one. So you could, the result could be smaller than either one of these.